Today we're going to learn how to go from a velocity time graph to an acceleration time graph. So, first let's review how to get from a position time graph to a velocity time graph. Remember, slope is equal to rise over run. And in this case, our rise from one point to another point, our rise is in this direction. So this is our change in x. Our run is in this direction. That's just our change in time. So if we look at our units here, change in position over change in time, this has units of meters and seconds, well meters per second is just our speed or our velocity in the x direction. So using this example, slope, our change in x, we go from 0 all the way to 4. Our run, we go from 0 all the way to 4. So this just gives us 1 meter per second. This is equal to our velocity in the x direction. So, if we were to graph this, 1 meter per second, the slope's not changing, so it would just be 1 meter per second for 4 seconds, a straight line across like that, constant velocity. So, now we know our velocity is constant at 1. Now we want to go from our velocity time graph to acceleration time. So, let's look what happens if we take the slope again. Slope of our velocity time graph is, well, the rise over the run our rise is, just say we were to start at 0 and rise to 2. Our rise is our change in V. Change in V. Our run, just like before, is our change in time. Well, this just gives us the definition for acceleration. Change in velocity over change in time. Our units are going to be meters per second all over seconds. So this gives me meters per second squared. So to get from one graph to the other graph going right, take the slope. To get from this graph to this graph, I take the slope again. So let's see it with the example and maybe it'll make more sense. So our slope is equal to the change in V all over the change in t. Now we got to look at this graph and say, is it changing its velocity at any time? If it's not, then we don't have any change in velocity. If you're to look at two points, we have 0, 1, or 0, 1, 4, 1. Using our slope equation, y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 would be 1 minus 1 all over 4 minus 1 0 over 3 0 this is saying my acceleration is going to be zero. This makes sense if we think about our graph here. Our velocity isn't changing. We only have an acceleration when you speed up, slow down, or change directions. So we're not speeding up or slowing down. There's a constant velocity. So our acceleration is going to be zero. 
At this time, you should go on and try examples two and three. Once you've done that, you can move on to the next example that we'll do together. Okay, now we've got a situation where our velocity is going from some value, 2, to another value, 0. So there is a change in our velocity. Think to yourself, is this speeding up or slowing down? Well, we start at 2 meters per second, and we finish down here at 0 meters per second. Now it's all in the positive direction. These are all positive numbers. So we got to think to ourselves, is this slowing down or speeding up in the positive direction? Well, if you notice, we're coming to a rest, a stop. So that means we must be slowing down. So what does that look like in our position time graph? It's going to look like some curve like this, slowing down. Now, right now, we don't know exactly where it's supposed to be. We'll learn that later in the course. But how do I get from my velocity to acceleration? To get from velocity to acceleration, let's take the slope. Rise, all over run. My rise is my change in V. My run is my change in time. What does that give me? Our acceleration. So, using this example, slope, we can do this two ways. We can use the slope equation Or if you can just see it in your head and you don't need to use the slope the equation, there's no need to use it. If you're having trouble with that, use the slope equation. So x1, y1, x2, y2, 0 minus 2 all over 4 minus 0. Okay, so this is telling us we have an acceleration of negative one-half meter per second squared. That's our slope. Slope is our acceleration. So we can, now we've got to ask ourselves, is acceleration changing or is it constant? Well, the slope is the same for all of these points. The slope will be negative one-half. So we can come over here. Roughly, here's maybe, say, negative one. Negative one half is here. At this time, you should go on and try the rest of the examples on the page.